my darlings, it's Dion Dean. Welcome back to another video. I told you guys that this video was coming. My Christopher John Rogers, I don't even want to say it's a review. It's basically just a try on. Full disclaimer, I actually purchased these items the, the more, the early in the morning when the line dropped. Um, there were three Alexis, Christopher John Rogers, and week so i think the brand is um my girlfriend jesse from cappuccinos and consignment she's done a review and i'm gonna leave a leave a link to her review in the description box but we both woke up very early in the morning to purchase these pieces the pieces came i tried them on and i actually returned them full disclaimer i returned them because i live in south florida and to me this is my opinion okay beautiful exquisite pieces exquisitely done fabric choice on point these do not feel like $60 dresses however it is hell hot in South Florida anybody that has vacationed here that lives here that has breezed their way through on the way to go into the Bahamas or Jamaica or St. Lucia wherever let me tell you something our humidity is unlike most places like I think Houston New Orleans think of that so the weight of the of the garments were just a little bit too much for me but peer pressure from my best friend one of my best friends Kadisha um if she's watching this is your fault that I spent this money she's like girl we need to see we need to see this from you we need this from you so a minute and 30 in I'm going to give it to you so let's go ahead and try on these pieces I haven't oh and actually there was one piece that I couldn't get that I got which I'm excited about um but yeah let me get let me give you this try on okay I have my clicker here since I'm far away from you guys so I totally understand why you guys needed this video from me and why Khadija said she needed this video from me because these pieces are absolutely brunch life okay if there was ever a brunch life collection it is this collection the drama come on now come on now the drama is giving me all of what i need now if you're not comfortable with your buxomness or your plus sizedness this may not be the piece for you i know that when i'm moving and gliding my way through winwood and the design district or from in boca palm beach I know that this is gonna move with me, so I don't have issues with the volume. If you're someone that is not comfortable with your volume, if you don't like to look or feel bigger than you are, this is not the piece for you. What I love about it, of course, the color. It is such a vibrant, I'm hoping that, and I'm hoping that you can get the color from this, that you can kind of grab how rich it is. Of course, if you've seen the line, if you own the line, it's just, it's just, oh. the thing that gets it for me is that it's just not an ordinary peasant dress. This is what really does it for me. The only thing is, oh, you know what? It doesn't come apart. I thought it came apart. Oh, okay. I was gonna say the only thing is I don't know if I'd be able to tie this myself or will I need Mr. Dean's assistant, but since it doesn't come apart, okay. And so this was one of the dresses that I actually did purchase and took back. And again, although it is a lot of material, the material is quite dense. And so I will be sweating if I'm sitting outside in this South Florida weather. This may irritate me at some point as well, but I think once I tie it properly and get it, look at that. I love this whole train effect. I love it, I love it. I think once I kind of get that together, it will, work for me. See, I can't stop playing in it. You guys know that if I'm playing in my clothes, if I'm dancing in my clothes, that I am feeling it. And I'm, I love all this extra thing that I got going on. So let's get in the mirror so I can show you how I would accessorize it, how I would actually wear it. Okay, so this is such a vanity point, but <laughs> for my wig wearers, this is definitely a dress for your short wigs because you really want people to see that the bow back there so this dress does not need much it is high low i don't know if i mentioned that it is high low and so what i've done is actually paired it this is a shop dion dean bag a little bow bag so because it doesn't need much the straps are actually detachable but i actually would probably just kind of 
walk into the restaurant like that. You know I love a big bow. Basic Zara pumps, not pumps, I'm talking about Zara mules. Keep it color block, keep it cute. That's, you don't need to do much. The dress is speaking volumes. I'm actually, this is actually what I'm probably gonna wear this weekend. Um, but yeah, the bow's not too much for it. Just kind of goes with that bow. Just very, you want to keep it playful and light because the dress is very playful and light. Again, the, the dress is speaking volumes. The only thing that I would do is, again, I'd probably wear a shorter wig or if I had my faux locks, I would have them up so that you could really see, you know, this bow in this detail. So that's how I'd wear it. Okay, guys, so where's the pocket? Okay, I know there's a pocket in here. Okay, this is one that I took back. I got it and I took back. There is, I wanna make sure I'm not gonna show you guys my hoo-ha, hold on. Uh, yeah, my hoo-ha would show. If you have this dress, you know what I'm talking about. If you've seen it in the stores, there is, let's come up close. I had to get this in a 24, 26. I am no longer in that category, but these tatas at Target won't let me be great <laughs> with this line. I've heard that people have had to size up and I am one of them. So you can see that there's some pulling in here. There's actually like crinoline in here, which is Mark of the designer. He works with crinoline in his full range line. That's not, that wasn't turned properly. Um, it is belted. I think there's no place for the belt to go here. So I'm guessing it's going to, okay. So I think that's just how it's going to be. I actually like this. We're gonna get in the mirror. I'm gonna show you how I would style it. I actually really like this. I just don't know. I don't know like the pattern. I don't know if I'm wearing it right. I just feel like I'm going to be tugging at myself. My bra is showing right here, which if I got like one of my Savage Vent Fenty green or yellow or hot pink bras, I don't think that'd be a problem. I actually think it would be quite sexy. I love when a bra shows, when a woman shows her bra, um, when it's meant to be seen. <laughs> so if I wore like a, let me show you, let me show you, hold on. Okay, so I actually just ordered another one because I love them so much. I'm not gonna show you into all my brawness. But if I were to wear, you know, this bra with that, with the little lacy detail, this is a, I'm obsessed with Rihanna, you guys know that. Um, so all my bras come from there. If I were to wear this, this little lace moment, I think it would actually be kind of sexy. So yeah. Um, I took it back because it felt like it was just too much, especially right here. I wonder if I remove it, if I'll have, see how it looks? I feel like Marie Antoinette, I feel like in those Victorian movies where they padded them, but this is the mark of the designer and you cannot take that away from him. And this is his line. I just feel like, especially from the side, it just feels, Lord, please don't come down on me. Okay. <laughs> what do you think, Dad? Let me put this picture up here. What do you think, Daddy? Do you like it? <sighs> He'd be like, no. <laughs> I can hear him from the great beyond. No, I don't like that. Um, I think from the front, it looks very sweet. From the side and the back. But the colors are what really keep me enthralled. All right, so let's um, let's merchandise it a little bit. Let's get in the mirror. Okay, so this is my shoe wall. I think I'm going to try it on with these and these. Let's get them. Let's pick them up. Let's take them with us. Okay, so you see in the mirror what I'm talking about, right? Let's pretend this is a bag. <laughs> Let's pretend these shoes are a bag. I don't know. It just feels like I'm, 
I feel like a clown is gonna come out from under here. That's how I feel. I'm pretty sure I can cut that out, but for 60 bucks, do I? Okay, so here's the thing. It's 60 bucks, but it's a collaboration. It's a designer collaboration. So you're really getting like thousands of dollars scaled down into a $60 garment. That being said, is it worth cutting out the crinoline to keep the dress? I don't know. I love the colorways. You know what, let's, let's kick off these shoes and put on the Zara. Oop, hold on, hold please, hold please. Okay, can I do this while holding the camera? Okay, come on, come on. It's annoying me that like my crown molding isn't in. This is very, very like, <laughs> this is love guys, because I don't let people into this part of my house. Um, but you guys know, we're renovating. We are renovating. Um, okay, come on baby, come on, come on foot. Come on foot, come through, okay. So this classed it up a little bit. I still think this is, this needs to be smoothed down. I'm gonna see how difficult it is to remove. If it's not worth it, then unfortunately this may go back. What a beautiful piece though. A beautiful piece. With the shoes, which ones do we prefer? The Mango or the Zara? Let me know in the comments. What do you think about this dress? Okay. Let's discuss this dress. Because I actually really like it. This reminds me of an African auntie at a beautiful Nigerian wedding. Okay, let's discuss. There is smocking on the back of this dress, which I thought was going to give me some give in the bust. And it's not, and I'm not understanding why, because usually, do you know, you guys know what I'm talking about with smocking? This right here. It doesn't feel like it's even pulling it. Sorry, my husband's not here to finish the job. <laughs> pulling up the zip, there's a side zip. So I got into it as best as I could. Could I go up in a size? Yes, but we're gonna have to get into the mirror so I can really show you. I feel like it fits the way that it's, I feel like it fits the way that he envisioned it fitting here. And I almost feel like it does here, but I'm very tight in the tatas. This, oh, let me, let me tell you the size. So this is a 2022. And again, with this line, from what I've been reading and, and seeing, people have been sizing up. I am not sizing up into a 24, 26 for this dress. It's just not something I'm willing to do. So, you know that I'm on this summer of snatchedness, getting ready for our basil. <laughs> so I'm gonna keep this dress because, I'm just gonna keep it because I really like it. I, let, me not, let me say this. I really like the dress, I just don't understand and, and again, we've talked about body types and fast fashion and most fast fashion is made, in my opinion, for the pear shape. So smaller bust, larger hip. I don't think many brands think about the big busted or even the hourglass shaped plus size woman. I think it's very much catered to that woman who is a smaller bust that carries her weight, carries her weight in her thighs, um, doesn't necessarily have you know, any belly fat. Like I talk to my girlfriend all the time. She has a beautiful body. She's pear shaped. And I'm like, just give me that flat tummy for not even 24 hours dollar. Just give me four hours to do what I need to do in these streets with that flat stomach, right? Um, but I do like this dress. I like, I feel like it was pattern mixed. It is pattern mixed, right? Yeah, the smaller print, smaller, smaller, larger. Um, let's show you from the side. Like, I feel like I look the way I'm supposed to look. There's no pulling here. It's sitting where it needs to sit on that part of my body. I think, yeah, I just think I'm a busty girl. Is this gonna bug me? Yes, I think that maybe I'm just not sitting it right. Oh, but you know what? I, I have seen people wear it off shoulder. So let's see if, oh, oh, give us clavicle. Give us clavicle. Get, get out, 
girl. Give us clap. Honey, that just changed the whole game because now I have a little bit more. Yes, yes. Give us clavicle. I need a short wig. Give us clavicle. Yeah, oh, 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 oh. Wait a minute. Don't give Dion Dean too much, y'all. Y'all know I'm not that girl. I am not that girl. I am not that girl that doesn't take a compliment. Give me all the love. Give me all the compliments. Give me all the likes. Give me my flowers, darling. Cause this, yes. Oh, oh, mm. oh, oh, absolutely, darling. Oh, oh, am I, do I need to take the Gucci belt out? Is this a Gucci belt moment? Oh. I think it might be coming out. Wait a minute. Oh. Oh, this just. Oh my God. Oh. Oh, this just did something to me. Hmm. Hmm. This is. Oh, don't let me walk in with the hands in the pockets. Oh, Jesus. Oh. Hmm. Guys, I don't even have on my good girdle, okay? If I was snatched the way I needed to be snatched, it would be worse. Taking this thing off the shoulder gave it a whole... Should I put it? I don't even want to put it back on the shoulder, guys. Taking it off the shoulder gave it a whole new vibe. If you don't have this dress, you better get it, okay? Like I said, I don't even have the snatchedness on. I just got all my regular drawers. Can you imagine if everything was... Mm, mm, Baby, I feel like he has this in another style. Whatever style he has this in, I am getting it. It is got. No, this dress, this is it. This, this makes the other dress look like trash, really and truly. This is Dion Dean right here. This is Dion Dean right here. Uh, 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 uh. Uh, uh, just taking it off the shoulder. I'm about to give God a praise just for this dress. Now, how am I going to get out of it? Because <laughs> I am zipped in. Oh, I need all the saints to get a seat on my behalf so I can get out of this here dress and get to the next one. Okay, guys. There's nothing bad to say about this dress. There's absolutely nothing bad to say about this dress. I'm... It's, it's a lot of material. And so that makes me a little weary because I, I said the humidity. I'm just going to have to spray something on myself and to perspirate all over my body three times over so that I do not sweat this out. This is a lot of material, but it's so beautiful and it's so elegant. And I just, this is the best piece. No, cause that black and white one guys, that gave me everything. I can't say that. I just, I'm, I'm just enamored with this piece. I'm enamored with all of them. The only one that I'm kind of iffy about is that checkered one. But I feel like if I can cut, or not me cut, have a, a tailor or a seamstress, I should say, cut out the mesh, then it'll be fine. The thing that I love about this, I love a good pocket moment. I love when you're walking in and you have, you know, a pocket, you have a big clutch and you just, I love glamorous. And this is why you guys DM'd me, right? When this collection showed its face <laughs> and said, coming soon, I had so many of you DM me. You guys know me and I know you. I love you guys so much. Cause you were like, Dion, that whole collection is you. And to be fair, it really is. I'm really excited. Um, so let's get in the mirror and then, yeah, let's get in the mirror. Okay. Remember these from the Benz? These Aldo shoes? 
some straw yeah because it can't take away from the dress anything for me this is how me okay not anybody else me i feel like anything else is going to take i don't want anything to take away from the dress so i would style it with something very simple like that or maybe a gold gold um thong sandal i don't even know what purse I'd probably do a vintage purse. My purses are at my store. The vi my vintage bags are at my storage unit. I feel like this deserves a um, Fendi moment. I'm gonna insert a picture here. Uh, of when I took a picture, oh, I'm not here. I'm gonna insert a picture of um, me at the Fendi store, Design District, if you, live down here or if you've been down here you know exactly what i'm talking about this screams fendi design district so um do i have time to do that today i will see check me out i am dion dean on instagram but um yeah this this is everything i thought it would be my only thing is this is going to be real nasty after a, just a few hours in the, in the South Florida sun. And so if any of you guys can prescribe or suggest a stain guard that I can spray on this, because let me tell you something, that Fenty Beauty, although it is sweat proof, you know, just the normal rubbing wear and tear that you have, you know, on your collar, I th that's absolutely going to happen here. So if there are any suggestions, I welcome them. But yeah, this is everything that I thought it would be. All right, so I want more. <laughs> there were like two more pieces that I wanted that I was not able to get. I'm going to continue to look on the website because as people um, get stuff, try it on, return it. Some people may get pictures and send it back. It is the world we live in. Um, my size may pop up. The only thing that makes me a little hesitant is that I like this is a 3x the black and white was a 2022 I got a 24 26 because of the bust in the checkered one and the green dress was a 2x and so there were a few pieces where I'm like I don't know if I should size up or not and it's not like all the sizes are available you basically they're coming up like piece by piece so I'm going to continue to look and if I find it if I if I'm able to get my hands on those other two pieces that I was looking at um, I will definitely do another video like I said, I loved all the pieces. I do think they are heavy for South Florida. Um, I'm just gonna have to sweat it out. Yeah, because that's why I took them back the first one. I was like, what am I gonna wear? They're so good, they're so good, but they're weighty. Like this one, oop, this one right now is weighty. And I'm like, can I see myself outside? If I'm, if I'm at a breezy location, if I'm at a beachy location I'll, I'll be fine but if it's one of those you guys know if you've been to south florida you know how you know how our humidity can be um but i'm gonna keep them because they're just like this one i just i just want to play in it all day and that black and white one that is date night tv appearance ex-husband funeral <laughs> I love you guys so much. Thank you guys um, for your love and your support. And thank you for reaching out to me again. For those of you that are just like, Dion, we waiting on the Christopher John Rogers. Did you get anything? Here you are. This is for you. Love you guys so much. Bye.